So I'm standing here at Abraham Lincoln's second home at Knob Creek. And if you look around, you see that uh, I'm surrounded by hills, mountains, trees, woods. Would have felt like a very isolating experience. Abraham Lincoln's going to move out here when he is three years old. First memories are of planting crops out here on this very ground that I'm walking right now. He recalled, uh, he recalled planting pumpkin seeds in between uh, where the corn was being planted. Spent a lot of time out here doing that. Also spent a lot of time sneaking off to, uh, to read. This is where Abraham Lincoln fell in love with reading. And we're very lucky in our modern age uh, with Abe's books, with Kindle. You want a book now, boom, you can have it in a second, often for free. For him to get a book, that was like magic. That was like the most exciting thing uh, that would happen to him. And uh, he would be so excited to get his hands on a book. He, this is where he first read the King James Bible, which he read over and over. This is where he first became introduced to Shakespeare. Shakespeare became a lifelong passion for him. He was always talking about Shakespeare, always enjoying seeing Shakespeare produced. He felt that tragedies were better to read than go see. The comedies were better to go see than to read, which I agree. Uh, you know, to this day, it's hard to create a production of King Lear, for instance, that brings the grandiosity of the language to bear. Uh, th this is it. This is where he gets started. And again, I'm out here uh, by myself today. It's February. People are not out and about even though it is a uh, lovely day so nice opportunity to get a little closer to the real abraham lincoln